What up everyone? Anyone new that's watching? If you feel like it, subscribe. <laughs> but if you're enjoying my videos, I appreciate it. 100% I appreciate all the viewers that I've been getting lately and the subscriptions. It's been awesome. Um, I wrote another message today or typed one out. I tried to do this vlog earlier like three separate times. I was outside on a walk and I was freezing my butt off. My hands were almost numb. It was like 19 degrees outside and I was like, you know what? I'll just wait till later. We'll do a vlog then. So it's going to be a short little vlog. It's only one pager this time. Um, but letting you guys know what happened today as a record for myself. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I kept my promise from last night. And if you watched the video from last night, my promise was I'm going to get back on to working out and keep pushing forward. So with that being said, we'll read this passage and that'll be it. So this one is titled Change. Change. You cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. You must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind. But you can change yourself. That is something you have charge of. Both quotes by Jim Rohn or Ron. R-O-H-N. I'll leave the quotes in the description below. Last night, up, last night I made myself a promise. And I, and I almost broke that promise this morning. I, I woke up and I hit the snooze countless of times. I can't remember. Uh, the alarm started going off at 3.30. I was up. I actually went to the bathroom. And then I went back to bed like an idiot. Um... I made up my mind no matter what time I get up, I'm going to work out. My cat's meowing in the background, sorry. Anyways, yeah, I don't know how many times it was. I didn't make myself a promise, so whatever time I wake up, before I'm going to work, we're doing some kind of workout. So I finally got up at 5.30 in the morning. I finally got up, and I did a quick five-minute ab workout. And then after that ab workout, I did a post-protein shake. Uh, 16 ounce glass, co uh, coconut milk, and uh, protein powder. Mine's like a peanut butter flavor. Tastes really good. I love peanut butter. So that tastes really good. Um, after I did the workout, let me find my spot here. I figure that's that's a it's a basic workout, but it's a foot in the right. This it's a step in the right direction, and it's a forward direction. And that's what I'm trying to keep up. Uh, um, also, so I left the house on on my drive to work. Started drifting into that mindset, that negativity, and I was like, no, no, we're not doing this again. I'm like yelling at myself in the car. I'm like, we're not doing this again, bro. We're not getting on that negative impact. We're not thinking like that anymore. Yeah, I know I'm wearing a big sweatshirt and a hat, but it's kind of cold in here. I forgot to turn my heat on today. So anyways, um, so I was like, we're not, we're not getting into that mindset. We're going to keep on hammering forward. So I told myself when we get to work, you stay in a positive attitude, and when I take my breaks, we're going to do some form of exercise. So, on my first and my second break, well, my first break more. On my first break, I actually did a 20-minute walk around the building, our whole building at work. And it's cold outside. It was 28 degrees, and it was said to feel like 19. So, it was cold. I put my hat on, put my gloves on, my winter jacket, and I went for a nice walk. Um... So it was a 20 minute walk, it was cold, but what was it? It was nice and it was refreshing. It, let me find my place here. It was truly nice being in the open fresh air. It gave me time to think. It gave me time to recall that promise I made myself last night. And from this moment on, I'm only moving forward. From here on out. If there are obstacles, I promise. I promise to you guys and I promise to myself. I will power through those obstacles and I will I will kill it. I'm going to. That's that's my mindset. No matter what gets me down, I'm going to pick myself back up and I'm going to move forward. And if I need help, uh, my coach reminded me today when I see him, um, he said, you know, you can still call me, still text me. I said, well, I know you're busy. He said, no, don't, don't get down on that. Make sure you call me and text me. If you need to get uplifted, call me. Don't, don't forget about that. So for that being said, I'll still have to remember to call him when I get down. Um, I must change. I must change for myself and for that better life I want. Change is my new vision of many visions. It is on my horizon and it will continue to be there. Last off, 
I guess it really comes down... This is a quote from Shawshank Redemption, the movie, from Andy Dufresne. If anybody knows that movie, it's a great movie. Serious movie, great movie. I guess it really comes down to this. It comes down to the simple choice of this. You can either get busy living or get busy dying. I know it's weird, something weird to end off with, but seriously, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to choose that life to live, and I'm going to be successful, and I'm going to... I'm going to get all that process in my head. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to be positive. And you guys can be positive too. Please be positive. Get off that negativity. Get off that stress. Get off that non-crap. Get off that non-motivational crap. Get inspired. Get some motivation in you. Uh, comment below. I'll, I'll leave some people to look up. Les Brown's one to look up. Look up this guy, Jim Rohn or Ron, R-O-H-N. Uh, there's another guy out there. I always forget his last name. It's Dean. I didn't write it down. Um, anyways, his book that I just ordered, I haven't read it yet, I just ordered it, it's in the mid on its way, uh, his first name is Dean, I can't remember his last name, but, uh, it's million, it's Millionaire Success Habits, and I didn't even know about him until I was listening to YouTube one day at work, doing my work, and I heard this inspirational thing come through my headset, and I had to hurry up and look at YouTube, and it was this ad for this guy. Anyways put some names in the description if you guys want to look up other people to look up look up the rock dwayne johnson the rock he's really motivated you know really inspirational guy to, uh, to listen to um arnold schwarzenegger listen to him seriously i know a lot of people can't stand his voice you know i mean he's been here in the united states forever and a lot of people are like how come he doesn't have an american accent well because he's from what is it, austria you know what it's all right people have accents but um listen to him very very uplifting very motivated and uh so, once again, it really comes down to that simple choice. Get busy living or get busy dying. And um, why would you want to choose to die? You know, even if you were on a deathbed, try to stay alive. Try to keep focused. So, um, that being said, guys, I don't really got nothing else. This was going to be a short vlog, but it's hitting that eight-minute mark again soon. So, with that being said, hope you guys continue to watch. And I love the support. And I will see you guys later. Peace.